Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I wanted to talk about, I got a letter in my P.O. box. <laughs> I remember talking about it before, about P.O. box, you know, not getting much in the P.O. box from the brethren, which is okay. You don't have to send me anything. Uh, I know, I understand there's emails. I do still get emails from the brethren. Praise the Lord. Um, but uh, this letter, is, it came at a great time when I started really doubting myself and started to think that, you know, that I, uh, I'm tired, I just got finished doing the walk and talk. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother, Jesus Christ. Um, but there's a lot of videos I want to uh, knock out. Um, but I got a letter from a brother in Christ, and this is the first time I've ever got a letter like this before, but it's got this huge thing on it, and it says on there, the Royal Mail, delivered by Royal Mail, <laughs> Postage paid, GB, and it talks about pounds, how the postage was paid in pounds. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking this letter came from um, England, thereabouts. But, uh, but Brother Sister Christ, I was thinking of taking uh, a break, not a break, no, uh, taking some time apart from making videos and um, thinking that, you know, maybe, you know, Maybe I'm taking too strong of a stand against sin, and I'm taking um, too strong of a stand sometimes. And I'm not saying this sarcastically, I'm being serious. It might be an overboard on the scriptures that it's, it's, it's causing too many problems. And um, it's, it's brother, brethren like this that uh, really encourage me. Like I said, there's times where I, I wonder if I'm reaching anybody. I'm helping the brother in Christ, uh, the brethren out at all, encouraging them to keep their eyes on Jesus Christ. So let's read this. It says, Dear Brother Philip, I hope that this letter will find you well. Well, it found me where I was, I was down and depressed. Uh, but it's lifted my spirits. Thank you, Brother in Christ. It says, I'm writing to, to, to let you know that among a handful of other ministries, King James Video Ministries, uh, by King James, no, King James, vi, vi, he put K, KJV, but Bible-believing, God-fearing ministries. King James, Bible-believing, God-fearing ministries. Okay. It's been a great blessing in my life for some time now, as I have learned a great deal, and I pray that God will continue to use you until 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians 4, chapter 4, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It's always a comfort when people mention, brethren mention, the catching away of the body of Christ. It's any day now. Okay, just hold out. It's a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Hold out. You know, don't give up. You know, don't be part of the falling away. Hold on. Stand. Thank you for that encouragement. Not much longer, brother. And he put an exclamation point. No, it isn't. Brothers and sisters of Christ, I, any day now, Lord Jesus Christ can come back any day now. And we see how bad the world is. It's like Sodom and Egypt out there. And it's getting close to the point where the time of Jacob's trouble. People talk about technology. I'll go off on this for just a second. Some brethren talk about the technology is really not there yet. But then I have brethren that really do research technology. And they let us know that um, a lot of the technology that we see today it's th that comes out, it's brand new technology. It's actually like 15, 20 years old. So do we have the technology for the mark of the beast today? Not the, the makings where it can lead up to it. Could it actually be ready to go today? Absolutely. Okay. So Jesus Christ can come back any day now. Okay. He says, I thank my Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving me four years ago. And ever since then, I've had that inner peace and joy despite my numerous ongoing problems and worries, which mostly stem back from my previous life. When I was newly saved, God had a lot of cleaning up to do on me too, brother. Okay, He quotes, Come unto, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Another good verse is the one where it talks about how 
uh, God is faithful. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, temptation. Okay, God will not allow us to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation provide a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Okay. Um, through that sanctification, even if it's been four years for me, it's been six, almost seven, um, the sanctification process goes on to the day we die, and that old man is always trying to fight to come back. It's always trying to fight to come back. I'm fighting it up here uh, sometimes when I'm setting out here. I've talked about this before, Brother Sister Christ, where all of a sudden a thought comes in my head, and I don't know where it came from. I said something that reminded me of a movie, and then I start going through the whole movie in my head, and I've got to stop, and the Lord helps me stop and say, get it out. Start quoting some scripture, start singing some hymns, okay? Uh, I understand that there's problems in, in the brethren and lives uh, when it comes to sanctification. God's working on us. Uh, in these last days, our flesh is really hitting us hard to bring us down. The lost world is hitting us hard to bring us down. False converts are hitting us hard to bring us down. Okay, sin's getting in the way of fellowship. It's getting in the way of, um, you know, cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches and lusts of other things. Are getting in the way of our walks with the Lord. It's getting in the way of uh, our fellowship with the brethren. It's getting in the way of of men in ministry. Um, these last days, it just seems like Satan. It's it's like an all-out war. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's where we need to be focusing. That's what the battle's against. That's what we're warring against. Okay, we're warring against the flesh because that's how that spiritual wickedness in high places tries to get us. The ways of the world. Okay, the Bible also talks about philosophy being spoiled by philosophy and vain deceit. After the rudiments of the world, after the traditions of men, and what's it, what's it designed to do? To make it where you don't go after Christ and not after Christ. It gets you to take your eyes off Jesus Christ and you start looking at the ways of the world and not going after Christ. I hear you, brother. Um, so, uh, God will give you peace and God will give you joy. He'll help you overcome the sin in your life. Um, that's what the Holy Spirit, we have the Holy Spirit in us to guide us into all truth, to help us sanctify our lives, to help bring us closer to the Lord. Um, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So, yes, brother. Uh, uh, I understand that God can still give us peace sometimes. I've, I've, in my seven years of being saved, there was two or three times where my life, I'd made some mistakes and my life just started falling apart. And every time when I dropped, remember, deny yourself. If a man come after me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross daily, and follow me. When I've denied myself and come to God broken and said, Lord, I've really messed up and I've got myself in such a mess. God has picked me back up and put me back together. And he can do it for you. And, and this brother is uh, trying to say, he gives you peace and he gives you joy. Okay. Here's the thing. He says, I come from Roman Catholic background and from my early teenage years, I started noticing many disturbing things with the whole system and eventually stopped attending masses. Praise the Lord. I knew that God existed but I felt emptiness, and as silly as it may sound, I began to search for online answers online with queries such as where and who God is God, where is heaven, etc. As my parents are what I believe, hopefully I'm wrong, professing Christians, as they appear to have the head knowledge, but they they never shared the gospel with me and notice that they are non-dispensational and whenever possible I challenge them on their beliefs but if, unfor unfortunately it all falls on deaf ears. Um, brother, Sister Christ, I had someone ask me a question on the email. I'll get back to you Brother Christ. I'm sorry it's been taking a while to get back to you on the email but asking me that um, if someone's truly seeking truth can they find it? Because he has all these people talking about how they are in all these occults and God saved him and turned and lifted him back up and they're in cults and everything. It's like they were seeking for truth and, and they were going to commit suicide and this and that. It's like, and then God said, Brothers and sisters from Christ, if you're truly seeking truth, here, here's a testimony from a brother in Christ. If you're truly seeking truth, God will lead you to the truth. And I pray this, brother in Christ, you have a King James Bible. 
and that you're reading it and you're doing your best to listen to the Lord, the Holy Spirit, open the scriptures to you and live a life of Christ. But you're searching for the truth, God will help you find it. Okay. I, like I said, I talked about this earlier, I was talking about being burnt out on um, the internet. <laughs> being burnt out on the internet because there's a lot of uh, lost people that try to come on and get in the way of the fellowship and us trying to preach and teach, brethren in ministry, they're trying to preach and teach. you got the lost world trying to get involved, YouTube trying to get involved and censoring and you got all this stuff and I'm just so desperate for a house church to go to even if I don't get to preach or anything and I just listen to preaching I'd rather go to a house church and um, just be part of a house church and be fellowshipping face to face with brethren but I gotta remember sometimes that God is still using the internet okay it's, it's, it's very filthy it's very wicked there's a lot of bad things on the internet a lot of temptations um, Victoria wants to get up on my lap. No, Victoria's my miniature schnauzer. Um, um, but God is still using the internet. The doors have not closed when it comes to the internet, being able to reach people for truth, for the plan of salvation. Okay, the next one says, The Lord Jesus Christ saved me soon after hearing the gospel on Brother Brian's channel. Praise the Lord. I'm also a test testimony to testify that I got saved through King James, by the Lord Jesus Christ, through G King James Video Ministries. Brother Brian answered the call, praise the Lord, and I got saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. I got down on my knees in tears by my bed and begged Jesus for forgiveness and to save me as deep inside I knew that I was on my way to hell. I was in such a state that I asked God to save and take me, and he put some parentheses, drop my head, you know, on the spot as I no longer wanted to live this way and just wanted to find myself in his presence. Good way to say it. True biblical repentance. Having God having sorrow in your heart for your sins, your personal sins you've sinned against them, the wicked life that you have, that you've gone against the, your Lord and uh, Jesus Christ, your Creator. Okay? And you want to be in His presence, but you can't be in His presence as a lost person. You have to come to Him broken. It's a great way he said, this brother in Christ said it. With time, Lord taught me and continues to teach me through the Bible readings by... Uh, Bible readings, Brother Brian, as well as your sermons, even though it is th through YouTube slash Rumble, I find it really comforting to spend some time in the right company for which I thank you, Brother. Okay. Okay, I've already done my thing on Christmas. Put it to the side. Brother King James Video Ministries, Brother Brian at King James Video Ministries, he has some amazing teachings. He's got some great teachings. I will still continue to support King James Video Ministries. Okay. But look at the brother Christ is saying. It's almost convicting to me that, okay, we need to move on. We need to move on. We need to get back to other studies. Um, but, you know, when we have disagreements among the body of Christ, okay, put it at the foot of the cross. Uh, not cross. Give it to the Lord, and the Lord will deal with us. Okay? If I'm wrong, I pray the Lord corrects me. I'm wrong. If, if the other brother is wrong, I pray the Lord corrects him and gets him back on the right path. So... We can live for the Lord and be strong and stand, stand, stand. But this is convicting because it's like Brother Brian at King James Ministries is reaching people. And like I said, there's some times where he, he, I get doubted that I'm, re I'm not reaching anybody. You know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm a liar and I'm just so prideful. And it's like the Lord pricks my heart. Brother in Christ, you pricked my heart. Um, I give God the glory. And I know Brother Brian gives God the glory. Um, he says, even though it's through YouTube and Rumble, okay, like I said, I wish with all my heart, one of my biggest prayers that I seem to be praying, I used to pray it every once in a while, I seem to be praying it every day now, is that I can meet some Bible-believing, God-fearing men and women within this area that I can ha be part of a house church. I really desperately want to be part of a house church. I'll, like I said, I'd be, be even willing to move, give up everything here to go be part of a house church. A Bible-believing, God-fearing house church. Um, but um, thank you for the encouragement. Because we're going to keep going. He, can, he does, does encourage me. 
The next, I see, at home I live with one of my siblings to whom I have tried to witness several times and sadly he refuses to listen and I get the usual replies of a lost person. It is really heartbreaking to witness his self-destruction. I gave him a Bible and unfortunately for the past four years it has been gathering dust on his bookshelf. Naturally, he reminds me quite frequently how I changed and should drop that religious rubbish. With the with Lord's help, my next step is is to go my own way to work on my sanctification process. And that's the answer. Brush the dust off your feet. I'm trying not, I'm getting a little teary-eyed only because in my heart when I'm reading this, I'm thinking of all the people that I've, I've lost that I love and care about for the stand, for standing for the Word of God. Okay. Anyway, I, I chose this. I wanted to be married. I wanted to have a Bible-believing, God-fearing wife. But I stood for this, and it cost me my wife. I stood for this. Uh, my daughter has basically written me off. I was take. I was taking something to. She's got a room in my house that has a lot of little her, her toys, and uh, she left a T-shirt here and. She got to set it up the way she wanted to set it up for her favorite colors, purple and everything. And I was going to drop something off in there that I kind of used her room as a storage room. Her closet <laughs> and her room is a little bit of a storage room when she's not here. And then when she comes to visit, I take all that stuff out and put it somewhere else. Because um, I got my cot in there that I bring out to look at the stars. You lay on it at night, mainly during the fall and the spring time where the sun goes down around 7 o'clock, I can lay out here under the stars on a clear night and talk with the Lord and look at the stars, count the moving stars, count the shooting stars, but I, I use it as a storage room. But She's basically, she's written me off. The direction that she was going, I couldn't follow. I, I tried witnessing to her one last time. I tried, because she's 16, going on 17, and... I tried preaching the truth to her. And I, I actually linked her the gospel message. I tried talking to her about Jesus Christ. And I am now blocked from her on um, Facebook. Part of me wants to quit Facebook. The only reason I stayed on Facebook was for her. Because that was the way I was able to talk to her and try to witness to her and stuff like that. And get to know how she's doing. But she kind of blocked me out and it's like, I kind of want to quit. I might. I might end up giving up Facebook, but I'm sorry. It's this brother in Christ, I'm sorry. It is hard. My life as a Christian, seven years. I make it sound like it's been 70. Um, I make it feel like it's been... Brother and sister Christ... Remember what I used to say, I've, every, it's like every Christian year in these last days, a Christian year feels like it's 10 years. So I might have been saved for 7 years, but it feels like 70. You know, it just I just feel old. The way the world's going, and how much you can experience as a Christian, this uh, brother in Christ, I think he said 4 years. You know, you can experience a lot as a Christian. God can change your life a lot quick. It doesn't take 50 years to get a good, solid, firm relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He'll, he'll work hard in you. But there's a cost to being saved. Not getting saved, but to being saved. Okay, I've lost friends. Family members that I care and love about really don't talk to me anymore. I just... I struggle with loneliness here. I really do. And the Lord, I start listening to Bible studies, start listening to the Word of God. When I start feeling lonely, I go for a walk and I start talking with the Lord. Uh, I do a Bible study. I get to check online to see if anybody's made a comment that I can respond to. If they're just saying, congratulations, um, not congratulations, if they're saying, hey, well, thank you for this. God has blessed me through you. I give them a thumbs up, you know. Um, they ask questions, you know. I, I want fellowship. I want face-to-face -face fellowship, but... And I do have it with some of the brethren on Skype. But I'm sorry to get... Okay. The Lord's help. My next step is going my own way to work uh, on my sanctification process. 
Brother Brian, and I'm still going to support him. Brother Brian's got some videos about isolation. Here, about isolation and the life of a Christian. And in these last days, it's gonna, we're going to have to go our own way. And sometimes it means being isolated. It means that we're going to have to live a life of Christ and we're going to be isolated. And there's brethren out there. Uh, we can email. We've got Skype. We've got like, messengers where we can do video Skyping and talk to brethren. But it'll never be the same as having face to face. You know, uh, Paul would write letters to the brethren saying, I hope to come to see you soon. I hope to come to see you. You know? I'm trying to pull myself together. Brother, I understand. And the other brothers and sisters in Christ out there, the sacrifices that we make to stand for the Word of God. It hurts. It takes a toll sometimes. But remember, I can do all things through Christ who so strengthens me. God's going to be there to pick us up. Put the pieces back together. Okay? And he finishes, I'm trying to get through the letter, sorry. He's going to finish this with, brother, just a reminder. And he quotes 1 Corinthians 15, 58. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Uh, I'm going to go back to 51. He just says 58, but 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruption shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death or the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God with, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember we talked about glorious liberty. Okay, there's going to be a day that we're going to be liberated from the law of sin. We're going to be given bodies that are incorruptible. We will no longer have to struggle with this body of flesh. We will no longer have to struggle with other people that struggle with their body of flesh. Amen. It's just going to be, we're going to be serving God. I'm so ready for that next adventure. But the verse that he, he quoted was 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, until the catching away of the body of Christ, you know, until we get that incorruptible body, therefore, my beloved brethren, beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The last few days I've been really doubting myself. Because there's brethren that I care about and I, I, I respect, you know, their words, their counsel. But we're going to get back to serving the Lord hardcore. There's not much time left. Brothers and sisters in Christ, got to get back to serving the Lord hardcore. There's not much time left. I've lost fellowship with some brethren in my life as a Christian. And I'd love to get that fellowship back. Um, and I still pray. There's brethren that I, I still pray for because I don't know what happened to them. They just fell off the scene. They And they just they don't respond to uh, emails. They don't respond to uh, Skyping and... And, and everything, and I just, I keep praying for him. What's the cost 
of standing for the Word of God and living the life of Christ. In these last days, it's going to mean isolation. It means going your own way. Okay? Um, it means going your own way. I see. Uh, does John, I think the, the study, I'll, I'll link it underneath the video. Does John teach the isolation of Christian? And Brother Brian just put out a new video. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, that I think might be under the same subject of be, about being isolated as a Christian and having to go your own way. And um, as far as apart from the world, your family's going one direction and you can't go that way. You've got to go the way that the Lord's going. And you've got loved ones, children, wives, husbands, where it's like, I'm sorry, I have to go this way because that's the way the Lord's going. And you're going to go that way and I'm going to have to depart. So brother... Thanks for the encouragement. Okay. Thank you, thank you for the encouragement. Um, you're in my prayers. Keep up the good work. You're in my prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ, especially this brother in Christ. You're in my prayers. Okay. Another letter I get to tack to my prayer wall. That has, has a, cause I like having names to actually pray for. It's one thing to just say, Lord, I pray for all the brethren, but it's another, just all the brethren out there in general. It's all, it's really great to be able to pray for brethren in specifically so um, keep abounding in the work of the Lord brothers and sisters in Christ my prayer for brother Brian is that he just keeps going with the scriptures and he just keeps going preaching the Word of God um, Brad Avenshein keep it going brothers and sisters in Christ keep standing for the Word of God keep handing out gospel tracts I handed out some gospel tracts. I didn't hand any out. I'm sorry. I laid out some gospel tracts. Uh, there was a chance that I could have handed one out, and I failed the Lord. Um, I've been stressed lately and, and talking with the Lord about other things, and I still felt the Lord. Sometimes I feel the Lord not handing one out when God's putting it on my heart to hand one out. Um, but get out there and keep preaching the, the, the plan of salvation. Keep being a light to the world. This world is getting darker and darker, and there's fewer and fewer lights. Fewer, fewer people standing up and saying, this is what I'm going to obey, and this is what I'm going to follow. Um, don't let your light dim as a Christian. Mm -hmm. So, keep praying for the brethren in ministry. Keep praying for one another. For the ministry of reconciliation and for their personal walk with the Lord in these last days. And I'll just end it with um, grace and peace. <laughs> she keeps wanting to come up this whole time. <laughs> I hope her stepping hasn't gotten in the way. But um, but uh, Victoria's been a blessing. So every time, every time I say I'm alone, I'm alone. The Lord's blessed me with her. Going for walks with her and taking care of her and everything. But um, just... Uh, Grace and peace. Grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Christ Jesus our Lord. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.